Hello everyone, this is Adel from OZ Engineering and in this video I'll show you the workflow for calculating the S-parameter matrix of a coaxial cable and for exporting it in touchstone format. This exercise is available in software examples, so let's consider the provided CAD model and start by defining the simulation domain. So I'll start by clicking on the domain button. Here I'll expand time, lattice, minimum, maximum, and step size. I set the lowest frequency to 50 kilohertz and the highest frequency to 1 gigahertz. I keep the stability margin to 15% and for minimum X minus 60 millimeters for minimum Y minus 150 millimeters and for minimum Z minus 120 millimeters for maximum X 600 millimeters for maximum Y 150 millimeters and for maximum Z 150 millimeters and we'll keep the step size 30 millimeters and let's click complete now we will assign material properties to the model the reference structure will be modeled as perfect electric conductor so let's click on uh, the materials pattern and select perfect conductor here I'll select all these uh, surfaces and click complete to assign the material uh, we can hide the uh, the domain by clicking on the eye here now it's time to create our cable EMC plus allows modeling cables by assigning a cross section to the wire that represents the cable path so uh, let's go to the M harness tab and click on cabling let's select shield Here, uh, I'll select line and I'll add terminations. Now, by clicking on library, uh, let's expand general singles and let's use a 22 gauge single. Let's click OK. Under terminations, uh, we will change the resistance to 1. E minus 6 and let's do that for both terminations and let's click complete now let's right click on shield add conductor we select the line add terminations Let's click on library, library tab, expand general, bare wire, and select a 22 gauge wire. Let's click OK. Under terminations, let's change the resistance to 50 ohm and do that for both terminations. Then click complete. Now to visualize the cross section of the cable, let's click on inspect cross section and hover over the line. Here we can uh, view the cross section of our cable. Now we need to add ports to the model. So let's click on port, select the line. Let's click on this terminal. I'll select layer two and select the conductor, click OK. We repeat the same steps to assign a port to the other terminal. Now in the simulation tree, we can see our ports. Uh, we can also rename them if we want to. And the uh, next step is to mesh the model. So uh, let's click on the mesh button. And we'll run simulation by clicking on Start New S Parameter Analysis. And let's click Run. Now we can view our results. Uh, right click on 
the first port and click Compute Magnitude DB. Here, uh, I right click and click Plot. And as you can see, we have our S parameters. EMC Plus outputs the S parameters in touch song format. The file is available in the project directory. So here, as you can see, we have this .ts file, which is the touch song format, uh, which can be used in any RF circuit simulator. Uh, here, for instance, I imported it in circuit and generated um, the S parameter plot. So in this video, we saw the workflow for calculating the S parameter matrix of coaxial cable and for exploring it in touch zone format. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.